Hey there guys, Classic Armor here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, between episodes, I did go ahead and do a little bit of grinding. Specifically, I got a Rat Trap up to level 12 just in case, as well as pulling out um, Eye Palm, getting Drifloon, Nana up to level 12, and uh, by proxy, I think. Uh, Larry may have gone up a level, and uh, Valor and Connie may have also gone up one level. But I namely just wanted to get Nkata to, like, where most of the rest of the party was. At least a level behind them currently, and on par with where they were when I began the grind. And, uh, I didn't do this last time because, honestly, the video was already just running a bit long, but since... The egg was given to me in Violet Town. I'm considering that for Violet City. The Violet City Pokemon. I still have not gotten any Pokemon here in Azalea, so let's see if we can't just head the tree to the point that something comes out. Or maybe I should try and headbutt multiple trees. I'm not entirely sure how the headbutt mechanic encounter works. Hey, there we go. And now I can suddenly... oh, cool. Well, um, I already have one of these, so we will not be catching this. And I'm not going to count it against myself either. Because, uh, Species Claws. So, let's just keep trying this. Something. Come on, something new. That is technically new. Not what I was hoping to see, though. What? Slow start. It has Regigigas' ability? That seems... I don't know. Extra lame? I don't have anyone with... Eh, mm, mm. This is pretty stupid, but sure, let's put out Connie, who is going to be weak to the pack that this spear is definitely going to be doing at some point during this battle. So I can bug bite it for not very effective damage. Wow, and still nearly kill it in one shot. Wonderful. Alright, and then, um... Larry, because... Taking a fourth of the damage is pretty good. If this thing even has an attack, I'm pretty sure Spiro at level 5 should know Peck. But we'll see. Oh good, I am stocked up on Pokeballs. I was briefly afraid I may not be. Good, there we go. So, now I have a different flying normal type. Um, great, now I need a name for it. Yeah, we need to nickname it. Hmm. What to name a female Spiro? Because normally, I play off the fact that its name begins with Spear, and go into Final Fantasy references, and, uh, go with Kane, because it also learns fly, which is practically like a Final Fantasy jump. Um, what was that girl's name in FF15 who was like the uh, Dragoon girl? Aranea or something like that? Yeah, we'll just go with that. I keep wanting to call her like Arachnia, even though she is not spider related. There we go. Aranea. And back into the box she goes. How much money do I have? Can I replenish those Pokeballs? Oh, wow. I actually have a lot of money. Where did I get all that money from? Oh, selling stuff. That's right. Speaking of selling stuff, that's not what I said to do. Thank you, game. 
Connie, what do you have? Hyper Potion! Heck yeah! We'll take that. Now hey, it's a full heal for almost all the game. Nearly any point that you would use that in, that's probably a full heal. Alright, back up to 10 Pokeballs. Do I have an escape room? I do. Okay, we're good then. How many supers? We'll buy a super potion, because at this point of the game, super potions are still like full heals as well. How much would that hyper potion sell for? Probably don't want to sell it, but I want to know. Oh wow, that is not enough to even begin to make that worth doing. No, 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 no. We're going out now. We need uh, to go deal with Team Rocket at the Slowpoke Well, where I'm going to be able to try and catch another new Pokemon. Oh yeah. Uh, as for the regional ridiculous Pokemon that just didn't get to show up on camera, but I saw a couple times while grinding, um, on Route 33, right there outside Union Cave, there's just Ho-Ohs. Just randomly ho -Oh's hanging out. They're like, oh yeah, we're ho -Oh at like level 6. Also, we know Weather Ball and it's raining, so we hope you didn't put your rock type out against this fire flying. Yeah, that happened once. Lived. Pulled it right back out like, nope, never mind! I don't want to do this. This is bad. Also knows Whirlwind, so uh, half the time it showed up just meant I wasn't getting experience that fight. Let's do the wild encounter before I do the trainer battles. I like to see if I get something new, new before I, um, hmm. <laughs> Watch out for my scratch. Definitely not be astonished that you're weak to. Um, do I think this will kill Dusclops? No, not really. Dusclops is pretty bulky, even though this is double damage. Astonish also sucks. A lot. Ooh, okay. That started to get a little dicey. Let's see if we can't just go ahead and catch this thing. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I was about to suggest some different names, and then realized, uh... Well, this one's also a lady. I was gonna say Scott, as in, like, Scott Summers, you know, Cyclops, Dustlots. But, I was like, well, no. We'll count something else. And what I have come up with is everyone's favorite Cyclopal bosses and or just strong enemies in Zelda games. The Hinox. Or Hinox. Whatever you feel like pronouncing it. I don't think either is necessarily wrong. I'm still going to say Enox. Okay. Well, hopefully these uh, rocket grunts don't have, I don't know, Kyogres and Groudons. That would be pretty devastating. Like, unstoppable. What you got? Oh, a bee drill. That's much more manageable. In fact, I may even, wow, put Nana in here because she would be immune to the normal type attacks and resist any bug or poison from the, her uh, flying and ghost type. And then she knows Gust! She just learned at like level 11? So, you know, super effective damage. Yeah, that made a lot of sense. That was definitely the right move there. And the low levels get lots of experience. Roll picks. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. I'm honestly just jealous because I wish I got Volpix instead of Ninetales. Um, yeah, we'll put Valorant. I know Sarah has the type advantage. I don't care. 
I want Valor to get more XP because he has not been super impressive for me, but I know he should be by the time he makes it to his next evolution at like level 36, whatever it's going to be. It's going to be a long time. So hopefully I can uh, promote the growth and get him there. So let's see what else I could have gotten. Oh good. I will definitely take Dusclops over for it. And I should even be able to make Dusclops evolve into Dust Noir. Even on my own because of settings and the randomizer. So that would be really cool. What wouldn't be really cool is if this first somehow killed Ibom. Also, Ibom is going to take forever to become Ambipom. Because it happens when it levels up knowing uh, Double Hit, which won't be learned until like level 32. So, I don't know. It's going to be a long time. Maybe if I had like an XP share or something, that would be really cool. But instead, I just have what we're looking at. What? The... This is one of those flutes he made from the uh, Ash and Emerald and all those games, wasn't it? What does it do again? Well, that's not where it's at. Where was it put again? Battle items? Oh! Oh! Cool! I don't need Awakenings anymore. I don't think that can be expended or break or anything. Oh, I'm going to regret doing this, aren't I? My gut instinct is telling me to go heal, yet instead I'm pushing onward in here. Hmm. Oh, actually no, I have just the thing. I have the antidote to fighting types now, in Nana. Ah! Counter my ass. Oh, no. Oh. That may not be an issue. I was worried, though, and immediately like, No, they switched! But this could work out. Let's use a couple minimizes and see if uh, Nidorino does anything crazy. No, this should still be okay. What can Nidorino even do at this level? Double kick? That won't hit me. Uh, horn attack? That won't hit me. Tackle? That can't hurt me. Leer? Okay. Sure. Whatever. Um, what else? Poison Sting? whoopee dee doo Heck. Heck is their only attack that can damage me. Alright. Good to know. How many of those will I use now? Four. I can do up to six. May as well keep doing them. Get uh, Nana to the point where she's almost entirely unhittable. Unless you were to stomp. But you'd also have to use Foresight first. So... Eh? It doesn't really end up mattering. How much will Astonish do? And will it flinch? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> can this just continue to work? Yes. Yes, it can. Alright. As one annoying pass down, one more to go. And both, uh, Nate, no wait. Rapunzel did not get to see the Nina Reno. That's fine. She got to see Riolu. So this should result in uh, Rapunzel also growing a level. Wow! I knew it would be super effective. I didn't know it would be a one-shot kill. And Nana immediately goes up two levels. She was the most pain in the butt to level up before, because she didn't have any real attacking moves. She did not know Gust until 
uh, pretty much the end of my grinding session. So now that she has it, that's really nice. I don't care about Constrict. I don't really care about Focus Energy either, but Focus Energy is better than Constrict. Maybe. I, I could make it more likely that I do a critical hit. No. Is there an item in this rock? I guess we'll never know because this Nidorino is going to eat the entire party alive. Sorry, Nidorina. Misspoke. Um, hmm. You know it worked out so well against the Nidorino. Why wouldn't I do this against the Nidorina? <laughs> Scratch, miss. Scratch, cannot hit. Double kick, cannot hit. Too bad, too, because uh, getting a Nido Queen would be kind of awesome. Although I'd have to find a Moonstone first, and I do not think I've got one. Hey, Rapunzel's up 13 now. Which I actually really thought was going to happen last time. There was an item down here. That's pretty good. Also, I forget. Have I... Yeah, no, I've seen all these TMs. I'm showing all of them off in the menus. And I know it's probably like, oh man, Hyper Beam! Why don't I teach that to someone? Because Hyper Beam is overrated. Or maybe most people know it's actually not that good, so it's exactly as rated as it should be. Hmm. Hmm. We'll do one more fight, and then we'll go heal before we take on the boss. I really don't care about Team Rock Rocket's rep. It was already ruined three years ago when you lost to a ten-year-old. Okay, Butterfree's a little more dangerous than um, Beedrill was, namely because of confusion. Didn't matter. Rapunzel is so much more powerful due to be nearly twice the level, and this fully evolved Pokemon's going to give me decent XP. Yeah. No. Um. Suddenly I'm relying on Nana a lot. I didn't see that one coming, but here we are. I know it's not Monferno, it's not actually a fighting type yet. That doesn't mean I couldn't know a fighting type move, as far as I know. I haven't looked up the learn set for a Chimchar in forever. All I really remember is that if you leave it as a Chimchar for a really long time, it'll learn Flamethrower. Which Infernape and Monferno would not learn on level up. Which was so bizarre, but makes it worth doing. Oh no. Diglett. I think we're leaving Nana in for pretty much all of these fights, because she is the antidote to everything now. Because so far everything's been like, oh, we're using normal type moves. Ground type moves or fighting type moves. And if we aren't using those, we're using poison, which is still resisted. And if we're doing anything else, it didn't matter. Nana just said, eh, I'm gonna become so small you can't hit me anyway. Immediately one of the best investments I've made in this team. Stats aren't great. Typing makes up for it 100% thus far. Waiting for the first ghost or electric type I come across that just destroys her. Like, oh, hey, look. It's, uh... I don't know. Oh, or Ice Side guy. I could do it. Although, Deli Bird is, uh... Not the Ice Type that's going to do anything to anyone. It's that Pokemon that only knows present. Which, in and of itself, only does a random 
effect or amount of damage and has the possibility to the possibility to heal the opponent it's used on. So yeah, not really impressive. Oh, I was really hoping to make it out of here. Oh! Well damn, that would have been cool to get. Not that Beldum itself is great, but obviously what it becomes is really good. Metagross would blow the entire Let's Play wide open. Like, oh, cool. Now we don't need to worry about anything. I mean, Psychic Steel Type's probably one of the better typings. There's a reason that nearly every time I play Gen 4, I uh, have a Bronzong in my team as a tank. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go heal. There's no reason to show this, so I will see you when I come back to the well. Alright, I made it back to the well after healing the entire team up, and we're going back in. I forgot to put Connie up front, because she is now the lowest level with the lowest HP, and should really be up front so that she can try and uh, get some XP. Also, thank you, I'll take that Ultra Ball. That's extremely generous. I can't believe Nana has already become my highest level. After spending like two hours just trying to get her and Rapunzel up to snuff and uh, Rat Trap, she's just like immediately, oh yeah, no, now I'm the best. What of it? That couldn't have been more uh, well-timed here, game. Nothing gets more perfect than, oh look! exactly the type that you're good against. Way lower level just shows up fully evolved and it's like the worst Pokemon in the game. You can just one-shot it. Easy XP. Like that was better than, I don't know, Chikorita showing up. Alright, let's do it. I know. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill my Pokemans, you scary, scary Team Rocket member. Executive Proton. Hmm. And self destruct. I'm kidding. That would suck. Almost as much as getting put to sleep in the first turn by Jigglypuff. It's uh unfortunate to say the least. But we did just get that blue flute, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. In the battle, it shows up in the status heal items, but outside the battle, it's in the battle items. Whatever game. Also, that really isn't good that Jigglypuff is faster than me. Oh, we have a speed tie. That's probably even worse, because now I can't predict anything. Well, I guess this is the uh, loop that this battle is going to be in. Connie already picked something else up. Holy crap. I, I really just want to stop the entire fight and look. In fact, I'm going to. Connie, girl, what you got? What did you pick up? You picked up a great ball. Holy crap. Here, have all these balls. Here's an ultra ball, Dad. Here's a great ball, Dad. It's not Father's Day anymore, but whatever. Shit. The game's just gonna keep doing this to me, isn't it? Sleep. Wake up. Sleep. Wake up. I don't want to have to deal with the sleep crap anymore. Also, Jiggles here is increasing her uh, defense to the point that she'll probably survive. Five. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on! This was not meant to be a thing that took a long time. At the very least, we don't have to listen to the, like, infuriatingly long, uh, polka flute song. It was nice, like, the first time you heard it, even the second or third, 
but then you're like, oh wow, it's going to do this every single time. Every time. All right, we're risking it. Because at this point, I just I'm going to mash up Bug Bite until Connie wakes up on her own and finishes this Jigglypuff off. Because what's Jigglypuff going to do? Defense curl a whole bunch more? Because I think that might be all she has. She may not have found yet. Be really scared if she had, say, a uh, rollout. That would be awful. That would kill Connie. Instantly. Dead stop. Done. Annoying, stupid, singing balloon. Oh, that would have been a much better 99 Red Balloon reference. Oh, well. I guess this is much easier than I was expecting. I know, it's almost like you're doing intentionally bad things and then expecting people to be okay with it. Wait, is Team Rocket secretly the government? Well, as long as uh, nothing horrible happens here, I think Connie's got this. Okay. Got a tiny bit worried in that last one, like, now the game's going to do a critical hit and it's going to somehow actually kill Connie despite the normal damage not being that high. Alright. Yeah, I know. Team Rocket is a bunch of, like, just the worst kind of losers. Oh, how convenient, Kurt. You feel better after all the danger's over. Yep. Red took them out. That's not even remotely surprising. Woohoo! We got a Pokeball for that. Specifically a fastball. And, uh, the best thing about Kurt in this game is he can make multiple balls at once, even though all the Pokeballs he makes are, like, the worst ones. May as well just have him, uh, do a whole bunch at one time, though. Sure. I guess that's fine. All right. Well... With uh, that taken care of, now the um, gym should actually be available to me. And um, do I even want to make any changes to the party? I don't know, because Connie is surprisingly pulling her weight and then will become Fortress and will be just kind of a cool tank to have. Um, Spiro is not going to impress me at any point, especially with slow start. <laughs> Dusclops could be good, but the thing is, I've already. Ooh. No, never mind. That's not actually an especially good uh, moveset. I've already got my own ghost. Oh, yeah, I need to take your Great Ball. Thank you. But yeah. Already is showing off to be pretty great. Is like one of the best Pokemon in the team, if not the best. I might switch you out just because I already have so much weakness to fighting, but I don't have a good option to put in the place of Larry. And everyone else is just a keeper anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna just call it here, and then next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke,
we're going to take on the Azalea City Gym. I'll see you guys later.